Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you will find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Alright you guys, so it is July 8th. Gosh, we're moving right through this year, aren't we? Even though it feels like it couldn't get over fast enough for a lot of us. But no time and space, yeah? All right, Spirit, what do we have for July 8th for the collective? What do they need to know? Okay, so we got a couple of cards. We had three cards fly out. We got a surrender to the divine. We got a win-win outcome is forecast. And show the world the real you. So this could have something to do with a Libra or an Aquarius. Uh, I do believe that um, we're needing to, I'm hearing, uh, let go and let God. Okay, surrender. Take your hands off the wheel and allow things to just unfold naturally. I do believe that when we do so, a win-win situation is forecasted. Um, as long as you're uh, willing to be real as well, being authentic, being true, being true to you, you and how you feel and what you believe in. I do believe that for some of you guys, if, you, if this was in the upright, it would tell me that a decision needs to be made, but I do believe that a decision has been made. And I do believe that uh, for some of you guys, uh, you know which way you're moving, okay? Be authentic, be true. Ooh, we've got the devil here. Let's see why the devil is here. The devil is all about power and control. Where is it that you're losing your power and control? And then you have the high priestess as the overall energy as well as the page of pentacles so this here has something to do with secrets okay it has to do with uh secrets coming to light i do believe that someone here has been using their power and control over you and i do believe that it is time for you to move forward i do believe that uh decisions need to be made to get yourself unchained from this devil the devil did show up in the reading a couple of days ago where we needed to be i think it was was it Monday? I think it was Monday's reading, actually, where we needed to overcome the devil. Well, the devil was in the reverse on Monday, but now it's coming up in the upright. So that tells me that somebody here is using their power to control you, okay? And you're feeling bound to, whether it's a belief system, uh, but I do believe that there are secrets here that have something to do with this that is what is keeping you stuck here, okay? Uh I do want to say someone, if this is a relationship, there is someone here who is cheating, okay? There is a third party, and I, I do want to say that you may need to um, walk away, okay? You need to learn the lesson and walk away. Uh, I do want to say here that for some of you guys, uh, maybe this is an employee, maybe this, I want to say that something here about an employee maybe stealing something, okay? Maybe it's, you know, stealing money out of the cash register. I am seeing that here as, as well when I'm looking at the the scales and I'm looking at this, this child uh, with the pentacle uh, connected to the devil. I'm going to say somebody's skimming off the top. So you might want to be pay really close attention to that, okay? Um, show the world the real you. Uh, there's something here about this high priestess. Uh, I think for some of you guys, there is somebody here that maybe you need to talk to, whether it's a psychic, uh, an astrologer, a counselor, um, so to help unbind you. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe you have an addiction to codependent relationships. Maybe it's an addiction to sex, drugs, alcohol, you know, rock and roll, you know, uh, third party, like I said, porn addictions and things like that as well. Uh, there is something here about a reconciliation. Maybe somebody here uh, that's connected 
connected and maybe you're feeling connected to this person and this person is somebody that you need to let go of. This person wants a reconciliation with you, but again, look at the bottom of the deck. Pay attention to the red flags. I do believe that whoever this is that is wanting to have a reconciliation with you has someone else on the side because this can also be the other woman. And do you see how this is like a third party? One, two, three, okay? So I do want to say you're going to need to make a decision about this. And I think for some of you guys, you're just keeping yourself stuck. Whether it's keeping yourself stuck in this job, keeping yourself stuck in this relationship, um, in a belief system, I think that, you know, whoever here is wanting a reconciliation, I would honestly say let go and let God, if that person's supposed to be in your life. Also, you guys, be really mindful that we're also sitting in a Mercury in retrograde right now. Anybody who's coming back from the past, this person, I believe, is very toxic to you. So maybe it's an ex. Maybe it's somebody that you broke up with. I don't know. It could also be a family member, ex-friend. Does not always have to be romantic. Um, I don't think that there was balance in this situation. And I feel like if you can learn to let go of this devil, you can, I believe, believe you can overcome it because there is a win-win situation uh, or outcome that is forecast but in order to do so you're gonna have to show the world the real you uh, when I see you you know with the high priestess the high priestess has secrets and she doesn't share all her secrets so be mindful about what it is that this high priestess is hiding so mm. Yeah, I in my mind, I was asking spirit, what is it with this devil? And guess what just flew out, you guys? Deception. So I do believe that whoever is here wanting a reconciliation with you, this person comes with deception, okay? This person somehow, some way is lying to themselves and you, okay? About whatever it is. So I do want to tell you if somebody comes in asking you for money today, I am going to say I would very much advise against that because I do not believe that this person is telling the truth. I believe that they're coming in, acting sweet and kind, uh, to, and I think it's against your better judgment. So, I, you know, take that for what it is. And again, at the bottom of the deck, you guys, I can't make this shit up. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Be careful. Oh. Free yourself. Okay, you guys, I really can't make this shit up. Now you've gotten reconciliation, deception, and freeing yourself. Uh, it is time to take back control of your life. The devil tries to keep control. Whether this is, you know, people trying to control what it is that you believe in. If this is people trying to control what you do and how you... And, you know, it's unfortunate because we have this whole control by the, you know, government and whatever else. You know, it's where have you been giving away your power and control? When I look at this, I see Saturn. Saturn is in Capricorn, and the Devil card rules Capricorn. And no, I'm not bagging on Capricorns. I am just telling you how it is directed when it comes to the Tarot. Saturn rules Capricorn. This is Ca this is Saturn in Capricorn right here. The Devil. Where have you been giving away your power and control? Where have you been being blind to the issue? This person is keeping their mouth shut and they're keeping blindfolded. But if you look, you can see a little bit of their eye peeking out there. I think this person knows the situation, but they're choosing not to say anything. Okay? So again, whatever this is, you need to free yourself. You need to let go of all the power and control. Whatever this person thinks that they have over you, you need to realize that you are not stuck in this situation. You can get out at any point in time. You are deceiving yourself by believing that you can't move forward and that you have to that, that this person is supposed to be a part of your life. You may want to really reconsider again. If you're willing to walk away from this situation, a win-win situation or win-win outcome is forecast. That's what shows up all over this. Um, if not, 
you're gonna end up keeping yourself stuck to this. So again, this has everything to do with your belief system and what you believe that you're capable of. So for those of you who are like, oh my God, I can't leave, you know, he's so wonderful and everything's amazing. And you know, deep down inside, that is like totally the opposite. This motherfucker cheats on you. He's lying to you. He's ghosting you, breadcrumbing you. Chances are this person already has a third party and this person is lying to you you have already gotten the signs that you need to walk away and free yourself. This person is keeping secrets from you and there is another person. So that is not for everybody. Obviously you need to get a personal reading in order to find out if this message is for you. But I think for most of you guys, the ones you already know it. Okay. You already have feelings. Use your intuition and, um, Good luck. Anyway, you guys, I hate to have to spread this message, but I'm going to be honest with you. With everything that's going on in the sky, we have some massive fucking transits that are going on right now that are very brutal. And you guys are just going to have to like really surrender to the divine and just go through them. If it, you know, walks like a duck, talks like a duck, chances are it's a duck and you might want to decide what you're going to do with that duck okay so however that means for you you guys if this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading please feel free to check the description box down below there you'll find the link to my website thefootstepstopeace.com also like share and subscribe you know i appreciate it and i will chat again with you guys tomorrow